In this video, I will explain how to calculate a discounted payback period. So let's start with the definition. The discounted payback period method is a method that calculates the length of time it will take for a stream of cash flow to recoup an initial investment while taking into consideration the time value of money. So let's check out an example of how to use this method. This says a firm is considering a project that requires an initial investment of $90,000 and has the following projected cash flows. Should the firm accept the project if they require a payback period of three years? Assume that the firm uses a discount rate of 8%. So we have some project that the firm is considering investing in. In year one, we're saying that the project is expected to cash flow $50,000. In year two, it is expected to cash flow $20,000. In year three, another 20,000, and in year four, another 20,000. Now for each of these annual cash flows, this is money that's coming in in the future. So this is $50,000 one year from now. So what would the present value of that $50,000 be right now? So to calculate that, we can use the present value formula, which is PV, the present value, is equal to the future value divided by one plus R to the power of T where R is the discount rate and T is time. So for example, this $50,000 one year from now, to calculate the present value of that $50,000, we can just use this formula. So we say $50,000 divided by one plus R. R in this case is 8% or 0 0.08 as a decimal. So that would be 1.08 raised to the power of T. In this case, T is just one, it's one year from now. So if you punch that into a calculator, $50,000, divided by 1.08, you get 40,296. So that's the present value of this $50,000 in cash flow one year from now. And we can repeat this process for years two, three, and four to calculate the present value of each of those cash flows. Now, after we've done that, we can then use these values right here, these discounted cash flows to determine how long will it take to get our $90,000 back. So we can see that after one year, we will have recouped $46,296. After two years, we're going to add another 17,147. So if you add that to this existing number, you get $63,443. So that's how much we've recouped after two years. After three years, we can add another 15,877 to this total. So that would bring our total cash flow up to $79,320. So we can see that during these three years right here, we've recouped a total of $79,320. The remaining amount that we need to get up to 90,000, that would be calculated as 90,000 minus 79,320, which turns out to be 10,680. So after three years, we need 10,680 more dollars to reach 90,000. And we know that in year four here, we're projected to make $14,701. So to figure out how long it will take to get this extra 10,680, we take this number and we divide it by the total amount we expect to make in year four. So if we divide these two numbers, we get 0.726. So in other words, the total amount of time that it's going to take to recoup the $90,000 is three years plus another 0.726 years. So we would say that the total discounted payback period is 3.726 years. So remember, the firm said they only accept a project if they require a payback period of three years. So we can see that it will take longer than three years to recoup that initial $90,000. So we would say do not accept the project because the payback period is not within three years. So that was just a quick example of how to calculate a discounted payback period.